is our world famous 1200 gallon lagoon tank. So right now he's cutting an A-can lure to each single pump so we can frag it and grow it on another piece of rock. See what these corals truly look like. Oh, oh everything is glowing now. Massive fish. Oh, right there, baby. oh my god, come on. This is insane, bro. <laughs> Joey Slam. What up, Slayers? We're back at it with another Slay Adventure, and today we took a trip, a four hour trip to be exact, to Wide World of Corals, one of the most renowned coral spots here in the nation, guys. They just produce their own corals specifically right back there. So it's like literally a giant farm that's inside that warehouse. I hit up my boy Frank, he set up a private tour for us. So let me just stop talking. Let's go inside and have some fun. So this is gonna be absolutely insane. Check this out. Look at this spot. There's my boy. What's up, Joey? Hey, what's going on, man? What's up, man? Nice to meet you. Nice to finally meet you as well. Oh man, this. I'm excited that you came, man. This is amazing. I've been waiting. It's been now we're here, man. Yeah. Finally, four hours up. Nice drive. Nice and calm. Totally worth it. And my goodness gracious, this tank. So this is our world famous 1,200 gallon lagoon tank. Wow. Um, it houses a. I believe it's about a seven or eight year old mangrove tank um, that's been here for about a year now. Okay. Um, there's tons of fish in here, a lot of corals, um, a bunch of Radeon Gen 5 uh, pros on here. Everything's just uh, so everything with is, the you know, everything is high end, high tech. Wow. Um, and as you can see, the corals are just healthy and happy, man. Let's let's walk around. Let me show you the rest of the place. This is all water reservoir pretty much yes kind of so it's connected to the back where we have the filtration system okay it fills up so when you walk in the store you want to get your water yeah. it's real simple real quick this is this is sick and this yeah. store looks super super clean it's amazing i mean guys you guys can see it right here the yeah. entire view of the store clean perfect very very professional 10 out of 10. we offer a variety of different tanks all different sizes so if you're looking for something specific, you can always let us know. Please, we're not even inside yet, and I'm already excited <laughs> to see what's going on. So in our store, we got a raceway where we keep all of our fish um, from basically reef safe all the way to fish that aren't reef safe as well. Okay. Um, but here at the end, we offer inverts of all different kinds. Uh, we like also- Like shrimp? Yes, we do carry <laughs> mantis shrimp. A lot of the fish at towards the end too, we do a lot of captive raised uh, tank raised fish here. Uh, we really want to try to support anything that's aquacultured or tank bred. Um, we really understand that the future of the hobby is kind of in our hands. And I think that's kind of the biggest thing is to fully support, uh, you know, aquaculture. This is insane. I don't know if the camera can, is the camera being able to pick the nice color, the high color? No, oh, yeah. Because I know there's like a blue light. You know, it's gonna be hard to see us in these videos with a lot of the blue LEDs. Mm. So what we have is uh, an orange filter lens that we'll put over as we're looking at some of these corals. Mm. And what it'll do is it'll enhance the color and it'll take away the blue. And that way you could see what these corals truly look like. Thank you. All right, kids, we're just gonna get here. Man, oh, let me just. Are you paying this guy? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, everything is glowing now. Let's all right, goodbye. Go. Looking at all the cool colors. So this is like, I was saying, it's like your own garden in your fish tank. It's yeah, exactly, right? it's like a garden. So everything gets grown in the farm. Okay. And then once it's ready and fully healed, we'll bring it here to the store. We'll label it, we'll price it out. Um, and for here, it'll be ready for sale to the public. I mean, look at this. How does this look on the lens? Look at, oh my gosh. The zoas, are, I'm in love with zoas are my favorite. Because they just look like blooming orchids and stuff like that. They're, that's they're like flowers. And the Literally. cool thing about those is that they come in so many variety of different colors. I've seen these floating squares. Yeah, so, so they can look from above? Yes, so they're basically called uh, look down boxes. Okay. And so you basically just kind of hover over the water and you'll be able to get a clear view of every single coral in here. Wow. Yeah. Dude, guys, come over here. Check yeah. check this out. What is this? It's called a leptastria. Where are you? Oh, I'm sorry. And they are, <laughs> it's an LPS coral. It's a hard coral. Uh-huh. Uh, fairly easy to keep. Come in a variety of colors as well. Wow. Um, but it's a hard coral, so it's not a soft coral. We're looking at this. I'm sorry. I'm just lost in the colors. This, sure. this one specifically right here. Looks like a whole bunch of small flowers on top. This thing? This thing right here. Mm -hmm. 
whole bunch of little things. Are you making fun of the one I like? <laughs> <laughs> what is, what is this, man? Talk to me about this. Call an elegant squirrel. And oh most people God. that get into this hobby, that type of coral is what gets them into the hobby. Looks a little pissed off right now. Really? I shouldn't say that. <laughs> why, why would you say that? Um, it's it's all kind of like sunken in and closed. Okay. Dude, when that thing is open, bro, you'll be like, it's literally like, oh, I'm just trying. Like, I'm not like when you just like that. Corals get pissed. Yeah. They get it upset. gets gets all like yeah. So corals irritated. get pissed. They and do. Unpissed? They do get. They do get irritated. Yeah. Really? I'm gonna show you one in the other tank. It's okay. literally like. Let's go look. Let's see. do the difference. You go look? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So this one is pissed. Yeah, that one's not a Excuse me, Nemo. <laughs> so when it's happy and open, it'll look like that. Like this. Yep. What? Yep. That's the same thing. The same coral, just different color. Wow. That thing is really pissed. <laughs> yeah, look, look, look from up top. Interesting. <laughs> you think you said interesting? <laughs> Check out this puffer right here. <laughs> now, wow. Big and yellow phone, either camera around. Chiquita banana. Chiquita banana. That is beautiful. Yeah, so you know, those fish are, are brutal with the corals, so we don't put any corals in there, so. These guys are hungry. Wow. Kind of like yeah. the man, you put like a little, little crab in there. It's like the teeth oh, on that thing. Right? Yeah. Get one of those. Look at that. That's something you don't see every day. A white tang. And someone over here decided to step out of the office. We have the owner right hey, here. Hey, Joe Shiro. Thank you, man. Thank you, man. So, so, yeah, how's this it going? Is, your operation? Yeah, well, it's not just me. I have two partners. Okay. Um, so we started it back in 2006 out wow. of the garage from nothing, essentially. And we kind of brought it from there, you know. Out started with garage. nothing, humble beginnings out of a garage. <laughs> with no AC and no heat. So we struggled the first six months, oh, I'll tell goodness. you. I can't even imagine. Oh, it was that. crazy, yeah. Talk to me about this one in a million fish right here. You say this is Casper the White Tang. Casper the White Tang. It's a one of a kind fish. It's a uh, pure white, uh, lucidic tang. Uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's supposed to be pure yellow. It's a yellow tank from Hawaii originally. We got it back in 2010, so it's been over 10 years. This is the second tank. We had another store. It was in a 293 gallon tank. We said if we're going to move, we need to build a bigger home for Casper, and we designed the 1500 gallon in wall tank. Wow. The displayer. That's insane. Platinum tank, pretty much. Platinum thing. I have yeah. a platinum with two capers, so I know. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, he's yeah. roughly about 24 inches. He's big. Wow. You got him yeah. small with a big. So I know. I, I know rare. how it is to have like a very unique fish. It's like yeah. your gem. Come on, baby. Sweet famous, deal. Famous fish. Famous <laughs> fish. Awesome. Awesome. Let's go ahead and check out that tank up front real quick. Wow. Check this out, Slayers. Another tank. Shocker. With tons of frags. A lot of variety. Now this is just hard coral. Yeah, they're all hard corals for the most part. There's a couple of zoanthids in here, okay. but everything else is SPS, uh, Acropora, or uh, some type of SPS. Okay. And I see these. These, uh, these are so small, mm -hmm. and they're all moving too because of pretty much the flows and stuff. Wow, look at that. Yep. Insane. And I'm going to actually show you guys the farm. Okay. Um, you guys are going to be literally just ecstatic about when you see it. Oh, man, I'm excited. Um, I'm so excited. Dude, I'm, I'm ready. Let's get in here. I don't know if I am. Good. <laughs> Good luck, my boy. <laughs> wow. So keep in mind, these tanks are only a little bit over a year old. So you just moved to this location in November of 2019, so okay. it's a little bit over a year now. So these are all just small fragments when we first moved in. So this is just now getting established. This is not getting established. I mean, it's taken off, I mean, tremendously the past three months. It won't stop growing, which is a good problem to have, you know what I mean? Wow. So there's a mixed reef at SPS corals, but primarily a lot of LPS corals. So you have a lot of moving corals and stuff like that. Okay. Free flowing corals. So we have three systems here. We call them the triplets. Uh, they're all 750 gallons. The middle one, we're doing some changes right now. It was an SPS tank. We're going to kind of change it around, but the two on the end, the end and this is going to do phenomenal. Awesome. So for the viewers at home, for L SPS and then LPS, could you just describe that for us? Yes. Me? SPS is a small polyp stony coral, okay. mainly the hard branching corals. You'll see that on as well as some encrusting corals. Okay. LPS are softer on the outside, more fleshier, and usually have uh, they have tissue on the outside that's usually moose. So you'll see some of the hammer corals, the uh, torches, the frog spawns and stuff like that. Okay. They'll give you a lot of movement in the tank and they're very popular wow. in the hobby. I just see colors and flowers and I'm happy as can be. <laughs> I just fun. turned off the flow. Okay. So I want you guys to get up here and check it out from up top. All right. Be careful. <laughs> <laughs> wow, guys. 
So you see what I mean? The, now that there's no flow going on, but you see the softer tissue pores, those are yes. your LPS. Okay. And then you have your, like, your branching ones that are kind of like tree branches. Those are your SPS corals. Okay. So that's a digitized, they call that one the Superman because it has a blue base with red polyps. I've, this is a year old. Yeah, a little bit over a year old. We started from wow. a fragment of corals, small piece of seeds. This is your farm. This is where the magic happens. This is where it happens, yeah. This is this is where we sustain reef. You know, we're big into sustaining reef, not always taken from the ocean. Okay. You know, because, you know, you know, the hobby had a bad rap for always taken from the reef and not giving back. With the new technologies and equipment nowadays, we're able to recreate the ocean and grow corals faster than the ocean in some cases. This is crazy. Yeah, the corals, crazy. these corals are, it's a mixed reef, so the corals come from all over the world. So you're right. You wouldn't be able to see these just anywhere unless you went to a reef aquarium. I get to see this thing now. Get a closer look at that thing. Dude, I want some spaghetti. I want some spaghetti. Look, even heard me, it moved. Wow. Look at that. Look at the power heads. Power heads are moving so much water right now to just pretty much recreate the ocean life and the ocean flow. This is an art. This is literally an art. Take a look at this tank. Now, they were talking about restructuring this whole tank starting from little bit, little small fragments. Look at this little green fragment right here. That small little thing. Talk about a bear tank right now to turn into something like this. 10 out of 10 insane, crazy, crazy fish tank. A garden, an ocean garden is what I like to call a coral. It's just, it's beautiful. Now check out this coral right here. Look at it constantly moving. Bright greens, high green color. Now I'm not familiar with the names of some of these corals. So it's a, it's a type of leather. Okay. It's a neon green polyp toadstool. Um, it's actually really popular in the hobby. Probably eight times out of ten, you'll probably see one in a reef tank. Okay. Uh, been in the hobby a really long time, uh, captive grown for probably over over decades, um, and it's a simple core to keep. It's really easy, and it flows, so it's really attractive. People do like uh, you know corals that move around, so that's that's definitely one of them. So I hear I hear something getting cut all the time. What's happening? Like while we're talking and looking at these things, Dude, what's happening? Let me show you what we're doing. Pretty much eight hours a day here. Oh, look at look at this! It's crazy. So right now he's cutting an A can lord, and he's cutting the polyp through each single polyp so we can frag it and grow it on another piece of rock. It's a uh, it's an intricate you know, process. Oh my God. So check this out. He is pretty much adding the coral pieces. He is gluing together. those corals. So you're adding what's in here? All yep. of those corals. These are all gonopora, different types of gonopora frags. Wow. Different species. And look how small each little fragment is. Cut perfectly to size to go to these pieces. And that's the glue you put on top? Yep. yep. My gosh. What a what an operation you guys got going on here. My Willy Wonka's yeah. coral factory. It's corals everywhere, literally. <laughs> See what yeah. happened? I said a Willy Wonka coral factory. <laughs> There's a lot of flow going in this tank, and that's why they have pretty much, like Lou was saying, the glass bottom boat, so you can look at how intricate these pieces of coral are. And with that, that beautiful lens too as well, thanks to Frank finding that. How, how cool is that? We're looking around pinks, the green. Oh my gosh. Just the amount of diversity of colors. Dude, you gotta check this out. My gosh, what is that? What are we looking at here, my man? It's a scolemia from Australia. What? And this is what they call a master scoli. Oh, no, I'm uh, Look at this. We cherry pick our corals. You cherry pick your yeah, corals? Yeah. And it's a hermit crab. Are those white crabs? Porcelain crabs. And porcelain crabs. There's staghorn and porcelain crabs in here. Ooh. Interesting. They look tasty. Mmm! And the spaghetti. <laughs> More spaghetti. <laughs> Dope little tank right here. This is interesting. How big is this tank? It is a 150. That's 150 gallons? How crazy. Is, that, is this the thing that you're talking about that was yes, earlier? Look that at was. the color on it's that. another one, but this is a smaller version of it. Wow. <laughs> That's crazy. Guys, check out this tank. How big is this tank, Frank? It's one and a half gallons. One and a half gallons. So instead of getting your girl a bouquet of flowers, get her a tank like this. That's insane. Flowers for life. And they're alive and moving. Look at it. 
More spaghetti. More spaghetti. More spaghetti. So now I'm going to show you the behind the scenes of a 1500 gallon tank. My goodness. What's my wow? Look at that. What is that? That's an Acropora. Excuse you? Acropora. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> wow. I don't need all those spaghetti. So uh, this is amazing, guys. This is. I don't even know what to say. There's so many different pieces. Look at all these. There's lights keeping this alive. And there's yep. Casper down there's there. There's Casper chilling. Do you see this red, this red soft core right down there? That thing's interesting. It almost looks like a bunch of roses. Yep. Wow. It's a red gonoporo. It's a flower pot coral. Wow. It's, it's funny that you, you know, you kind of call it a flower. It's a flower pot coral. That's so um, cool. You guys have such a variety of fish here. It's, it's absolutely insane. There's so much to choose from. It's kind of like hard. So like, do you have not only re uh, reef safe fish, but also non reef and stuff like that? Like mm -hmm. explain that for me so we can talk to everybody about it here. Absolutely. Along the wall here, we have a variety of reef safe fish and non reef safe. What I mean by non reef safe, a fish that would most likely eat your corals or your invertebrates. We would recommend keeping them out of your coral reef tank. But the majority of the fish we do carry are reef safe and they'll have jobs to do, whether it's controlling parasites or controlling algae. They all have something to do in your tank. They have a job. <laughs> <laughs> so Joey, we're, uh, we're gonna pick out some corals for you for your tank. Awesome, perfect. So we walked around, we looked for some easy stuff to keep, stuff that has a lot of color. Um, so what we got here is, we got this killer barabanki right here. It's just crazy red. We got a nice blasto. Uh, we got uh, one of these neon kryptonic uh, candy cane corals. Wow. This is probably one of my favorites. So this is a candy stripe uh, Aussie Lord. Uh, this one's just, this is hot, man. So sick. So That's sick. Amazing. We got some killer looking mushrooms. Everything looks unique here. Um, we got a green one too, just to mix up a little bit of color. I mean, I tried to give you a little bit of, a little bit of everything as far as color goes. Orange, red, green, and these are cool, these little, these are uh, clove polyps. When they open up, uh, they'll be neon green with an orange lace. Sweet. So these things are sweet. And they grow pretty fast too. Guys, go ahead and make sure to check out their information. It's gonna be worldwidecorals.com. Everything's gonna be linked below. Again, thank you so much for having me. Yeah, whatever. Uh, <laughs> that's how it works, guys. We'll see you on the next one. Yep.